you guys what's going on is me KLV and in today's video I want to basically tell you on how you can control Ashes R4C recoil very very easily now I am on controller I'm on Xbox uh, if you're on PC it's probably a, probably a little bit more easier on PC but for some console players they don't know really know how to control Ashes R4C recoil now once you can control it it's not as good as it used to be but it could still be somewhat good so this is it just like normally quite it's quite bad okay and then controlling it you want to be like five meters to like practice and um, yeah a lot more better and you see it's like basically where a body would be in this like vicinity right here so basically what you want to do is you want to on your controller you want to like push down but to the left a little bit because if you see here on the recoil it goes up and it goes to the right so you want to push a little bit down to the left now I'm gonna, what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you my settings as well like my sensitivity mainly because sensitivity does help a lot so now what i normally run is 25 vertical and 65 horizontal and then obviously 13 on the left because i've read about dead uh, drift stick um, but the reason why we've got 25 vertical is because you don't really need vertical that much unlike like spinning left to right you won't obviously need that because if you're like uh, say for example peeking around a corner and someone's behind you can just flip very quick uh 65 is where i'm best at i sometimes go 75 depending on how i'm playing and then obviously i have 25 vertical to the basic control recoil like 10 times more easily so if i go for example 65 65 for example it's going to be a little bit more harder to control so if you have like the same horizontal same settings like basically same horizontal same vertical it's going to be like you see here it's just a lot more uh, weirder and then if i try and control it yeah that's me trying to control it it's not as good as it as it was there so at the moment i'm in a t-hunt and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run around for a couple of bots and i'm actually going to show you on how basically how i would go um it's very very easy controlling ash's recoil i just want to make this a really short video because it's very very easy to control uh sorry if you can hear dogs in the background but it's very very easy and if you just if you just learn how to control it you could still use ash as she was uh, she wasn't as good obviously as she used to be her recoil is a little bit more harder to control but also i run flash hider flash hider is the best to use because it's just it just reduces the vertical a little bit more so it just helps out tons more so You see here, not really bad. If you just aim head high, then you should be good. You see here, we've already got 31 kills, and it's like we still need to go to another one.
Pero... And if you can tell, it gets very hot too. What makes your basically also tests your reaction times as well. What is also very good. But yeah, that is basically it. Basically. On how you can basically control Ash of Vertical Recoil very easily. Just on your analog stick, just go down a little bit to the left if you are using like 25 Vertical, what I highly recommend. And uh, yeah, you can control Ash's Recoil very, very easily. Just do some T hunt a little bit, and yeah, you'll get better the more you, more you do. The more you go, the better you will get. So, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. I might do a couple more of these videos if you guys do enjoy them. I'm a nice guy, liquor in my cup, I gotta really toughen up, yeah, nurse strap, uh, I'ma spray that, money running, then I'm really banking on my luck.